You, your highness, Maximilian. <laughs> what are you doing here? Greetings to the honest Antonius. Do you want uninvited guests? <laughs> this hut is not worthy of such prestigious guests. Look, welcome to my humble abode. Please, grace me with your presence, please. Oh, come inside. in, please. Go inside. Welcome. Uh, welcome. Welcome. Oh, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome. Clear the way. Are you all Maximilian's fellow believers? What religion does Maximilian adhere to? Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> oh, God, whatever I said. Oh, what I meant was... Don't make, be afraid, I, Antonius. I, don't be afraid. <laughs> These are all my friends. <sighs> Tomika, Martinus, Jovanus, Sodinonus, and Dinasius. I thought for a moment uh, that I'd given away Maximilian's secret in front of strangers. Anyway, welcome. Uh, everything I have, I offer to you. Uh, please forgive my humble offerings. We are honored to be guests of Antonius, the kind and pure. Oh, how I wish my father were alive to see so many noblemen embrace his religion. Do not tell me that Diocletian is Christian as well. <laughs> it is best that we tell you the reason why we're here. Please, go ahead. We are not here as guests. In truth, we are fugitives. We are fleeing Diocletian and his guards. You have escaped? What crime have you committed? Offending the Emperor and the gods of Rome. Yesterday, in the presence of the Emperor, we voiced our beliefs and ruined the festivities being held in his honor. <laughs> no, I cannot believe this. You defied the Emperor. Mm. Uh, how did you escape? How is it possible to flee from that many guards? It is a long story. I told my friends you might be able to help us. M me? Yes, yes. I would be honored to be able to... to help Maximilian and your highnesses. We are all advisors to Diocletian. Do you know what the punishment is for helping and harboring the Emperor's enemies? Whatever it is, I am not hesitant. Providing a hideout for my dear, brave friends is the least that I can do. But I think our staying here is dangerous for Antonius. Philadelphia is not far from here. I am certain the guards will be here by tomorrow. You won't be able to leave the Emperor's territory even if you travel on foot for an entire month. During the several days that I went to meet Maximilian in the cave, I learned so many things from him. And I was so charmed by his character that I am prepared to accept any danger to help him and his friends. You can stay here in this humble hut for as long as you wish. As you can see, I live here alone. Antonius. Why do you live alone? 
Where are your wife and children, your family? I do not have a wife or children. Actually, I did want to get married. But every home that I went to, well, they told me they would only grant their sheep to me, not their daughters. Our daughters are not sheep. That's what they said to me. <laughs> <laughs> they thought that I wanted to take their daughters with me through the desert with my sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.